In this video, I'm going to show how to cut off and fix a wobbly lip. So if you look at this cylinder that I have here, the top is dancing around. It's really not flat. It's um, got a lot of the uncenteredness pulled up to the top, which is a common occurrence as you're learning to throw. So you might end up with a cylinder that looks something like this. The way to fix this is to use a needle tool and to cut off a ring of clay from the top so that it's flat. Now there's a few keys here and you're going to remember these from <laughs> centering. You want to keep your elbows in, hold yourself really stable just like you would with anything else that you uh, do while you're throwing. Get my left fingertips wet here and I like to work right here it's about five o'clock or so. Some people work directly at six o'clock. This is a good zone. The left fingertips gently uh, put pressure on the inside and outside. I'm gonna hold the needle tool in my right hand and there's a couple ways you could hold it. You could hold it like a pencil, but I prefer to hold it like this so that it's backed up against the big part of my hand. You wanna hold this really as firmly as you can because I'm gonna push this needle through the wall of clay. As soon as I start to do that, there's a lot of drag and what it's gonna feel like is that it's gonna take you on a ride. You want to hold your elbow in and be ready for that. So the first uh, thing to think about is how stable you are. The wheel needs to go just a medium slow speed. You don't need to go really fast. Get my fingers wet one more time because it dried out. I rest the needle tool on the thumb of my left hand and then I slowly press into the wall of clay and slowly move towards the index finger until the needle touches the index finger. And I'll actually go around a couple rotations and then lift off the whole ring. So the first key is to hold yourself really stable, be ready for that drag. The second key is to push through slowly. Let me show you what it looks like here in this cross section. So my left thumb and index finger were just gently resting. My needle tool is held in the right hand real stable and it rests on the thumb and gently slowly pushes through the wall until it reaches the index finger and then lift off the entire ring of clay. Let me demonstrate it one more time so you can practice this by just hacking down a cylinder. There's one more key that I want to show. First one is stable, second one is to go slowly through. The third one is about the angle that you push through. So if you try to go directly so that it's, uh, what's the word, perpendicular to the circle, <laughs> it's going to have a lot more drag. But if you tilt it a little bit like this so that it's meeting the, not the point of the uh, needle but coming into the back side of the needle towards the point, it works a lot better. So watch the angle that I hold the needle here, resting on the thumb slowly pushing through and holding it really stable until I hit the inside finger and then pull it off. After you've cut off the wobbly part of clay, it leaves a really harsh edge. This is not a pleasant lip for any type of pottery. And so you need to do some work to soften that. So a good way to do that is to go right back to the same position with your left hand, gently pinching the inside and the outside. And you can either use a finger or in this case, I'm gonna use a sponge. I like to use a sponge in my right hand. I'm working in the same spot about five o'clock and you can gently compress the outside corner and then maybe move the sponge into the inside corner. And you can even kind of roll the sponge around and pinch your left fingers in a different position as well, real gentle. You can use a finger of your outside hand as well. Anything you do, you want to hold real stable, but without a lot of pressure. If you put a lot of pressure, you'll end up with that flat thing again. So one more time, I'm going to go back with the sponge, hold stable, but with light pressure so that it softens the uh, lip. So if you have a wobbly lip or if there's some problem up there, cut it off and then soften it. Thank you.